Hi, this is Suzanne from SL Crafts and today I'm going to show you how to assemble my check shirt Faber boxes. Now the templates come as PDFs and you'll find the link for these in the description below. And once Prince has given his approval, we can get started. Okay, so once you've printed the PDFs and cut everything out, you need to score and fold all of these score lines on these two pieces. Now I've printed mine onto photo quality paper, which is 220 GSM, or you can just use plain white cardstock. So I'm just going around making sure that all of these score lines are burnished. So next you need to apply some glue to one of the long side tabs and attach it to the other piece, like this. Just making sure that it's all lined up along that score line. Then do the same with the other side. You can press it down from the inside with a bone folder or a ruler. Then apply some glue to the tab at the top then fold it over and again you can press it down from the inside to secure it in place. Then the box just closes like this. Okay, so now you need to start working on the shirt pieces. I've already gone ahead and inked around all of the edges of all of the pieces just with a, a blue ink to match the shirt. So for the front of the shirt I'm just going to start by gluing on the two cuffs. Then I'm going to add the two front collar pieces. Now these should meet in the middle and you want to make sure that it's all lined up at the top there and that you can't see anything from the other side. Next I'm going to take this long thin piece this is called the placket. I'm just going to make sure it's lined up straight down the middle. Then just tuck that top bit just underneath the collar there. Then I'm going to add the pockets. So I'm just putting a thin line of glue down the two sides and along the base just in case I want to add anything into the pocket from the top. Now I'm putting both pockets on, but you could just have one or, or no pockets at all. But if you are using two, then just try and make sure they're both lined up equally. Okay, so that's the front of the shirt done. Now to work on the back. So again I'm going to start with the cuffs. And for the back there are two pieces for each cuff. So I'm going to start with this longer piece. And that's just going to sit there like that. And then this smaller piece, just need to glue it on top lining it up with that inner edge of the cuff. And 
Then you need to do the same on the other side. Making sure that that smaller piece is on the inside edge of the cuff. Okay, so the next piece is the back yoke. And this is going to be lined up along that top edge. And then one of the back collars is going to go on top of that. You then need to turn the back over and the other back collar is going to be stuck on the inside, making sure that's all lined up along the top edge. And then this inside neck piece, which is a slightly lighter blue, is going to go just underneath it like this. So when the two shirt pieces are put together, it looks like the paler inside of the shirt is showing through. Okay, so taking the box piece, you need to find the back, which has got this little cutout section on it, and you're going to apply some glue onto that back piece. Then take the back of the shirt and line it up along that base edge, making sure that it stands flat. Then apply glue to the front of the box. And again, just line up the front of the shirt along that base edge. Again, making sure that it stands flat and that it all lines up along that top edge as well. Then you can press it all down from the inside. Okay, so now you need to join the two shirt pieces together. So I'm going to start from the side of the collar, down over the shoulder, along the outer edge of the sleeve, and onto the cuff. Then just very carefully pressing the two pieces together, making sure that everything is lined up. Then do the same on the other side. Okay, so now I want to add some buttons to my shirt. So I'm just going to draw them on using a blue pen. And I need one on the back of each cuff. Then I'm going to do a line of them going down the front, trying to get them evenly spaced. So there's my shirt box finished. Now in the template you do have the option of adding a tie. So there's a, a regular tie like this, or there's a, a bow tie. So you can add either of those onto your shirt if you wish. There's also a PDF template to make this red shirt box. And for this one I've added some small gold embellishments for the buttons instead of drawing them on. I've designed them so that they hold a gift card, but you can get some other small treats in there as well.
And there they are. Little check shirt favour boxes.